How's it going guys? My name is Ray. Valentine's Day is almost here. So I have decided from this week until the week before Valentine's Day, I'm gonna be showing you guys some recipes that you can cook up on your Valentine's Day dinner for your special one. And so today I'm gonna lead with a really simple recipe, a classic strawberry tart. Let's cook. Start by mixing 125 grams of butter with 1.5 cup of plain flour and also 3 quarter cup of powdered sugar and just blitz them together until they reach breadcrumb consistency. After that, just transfer them into a bowl, give them a little mix and add 1 to 2 tablespoons of cold water to it while mixing. After that, the mix should be sticky enough and you can just clump them together like this until it forms a dough. Then just knead the dough gently for about 1 minute. After that, just wrap the dough with a cling wrap and we're just gonna let the dough rest in the fridge for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, we can start making our custard. All you need is 2 whole eggs and 1 egg yolk. Mix with half cup of plain flour and also a cup of sugar and give it a good whisk. As I mentioned in my meal free video, there are a lot of custard recipes out there and some of them are using cornstarch instead of plain flour. Just like the one I showed you in my meal free video. But it's just for this particular recipe, I find it better to use plain flour instead of cornstarch. Next, you're gonna heat up 2 cups of milk until just below the simmering point and mix it slowly into the egg mixture. This method is called tempering and if done properly, it should prevent any lumps or scrambled eggs from getting into your final product. Now we're just gonna return it to the pan over medium high heat and just continue cooking it while whisking continuously until it's thickened and looks like actual custard. You can take it off the heat every now and then after it started thickening just to prevent any custard from burning to the bottom. After it looks like that, you can turn off the heat, but continue whisking for another 1 or 2 minutes just to make sure the custard is not scorching hot and end up getting burned to the bottom because of the residual heat. Then add in 1 teaspoon of vanilla bean paste and mix well. And after that, you can just transfer it through a sieve into a bowl. And don't forget to scrape off the bottom as well because that's where the good stuff is. And after that you should be left with this gorgeous silky smooth custard. Now we're just gonna wrap it in cling wrap. Just make sure you tuck the cling wrap in so it doesn't form any skin in the fridge. And we're just gonna let it chill in the fridge for about half an hour to one hour or until it's nice and cold. In the meantime, we can start rolling out our pastry. When rolling out a dough, I like to cover it with some baking paper so it doesn't stick to my rolling pin, just to make cleanup much more easier. And that's about the right thickness that you're looking for. Next, you're just gonna cut the pastry using the tart mold as a guide. and just press it onto the mold like so just trim off the excess and you should be left with something like this next you're just gonna prick the shells to prevent it from bubbling up
After that, you can lay them on a baking tray and just try to line up the top with some baking paper. Just scrunch up the baking paper beforehand to make it easier to manage. Then just fill them in with some pie weights. And if you don't have one, you can use clean coins if you have some. But they should be easy to find anyway in cooking shops. So after that, you're just gonna pop it in the preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. After that, you can take out the pie weights. And just pop them back in the oven for another 5 to 10 minutes. Or just until it's nice and golden brown. And that, my friend, is perfection. That's the color that you're looking for from your tart shells. So now we have to let the tart shells cool down a little bit before we can fill it up. So now we're just moving on to the topping, which is some strawberries. I'm just gonna slice the strawberries like this. And here I have about 250 grams if you're wondering. It should be enough for about 4 to 5 tarts. And so now we're ready to assemble. Just scoop in some of the custard, probably around 4 to 5 tablespoons into the shells. And now we're just gonna top it with some raspberries and strawberries. It doesn't really matter which fruit you use, as long as one of the fruits that you use in the tart is actually a bit sour to counter the sweetness from the custard. And as you can see here, I'm not really good with designing the tart myself, so just go with your guts. Just see what looks good for you and go with that. You can obviously experiment with different designs for each tart. That's what I did here. I mean, we get four chances to do it right, don't we? So there it is guys, the final result of my strawberry tarts. Now we're just gonna let it chill again in the fridge until we're ready to eat. Because it's always best to eat this tart super cold. And there you have it guys, my take on one of my favorite classic dessert, strawberry tarts. I hope you liked that simple recipe. And if you did, please leave this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter to get the latest updates on my videos. And I'm gonna put the links to my previous videos right over here. So please check that out. Link to Emashima is gonna be in the description box below. Leave a comment below if you have any specific requests on what recipe you want me to cover next week. So good luck with your Valentine's Day dinner preparation and have fun in the kitchen. See ya!